Now, let's understand how to use SQL Developer, which is a tool to interact with Oracle. It is more user friendlier than other tools provided like uh, SQL Plus. To start with, go to as usual oracle.com and go to downloads and you're looking for a developer tool. So select developer tools here. I hope uh, you already got your database up and running. If not, uh, go back and watch the previous video. Check out how you can set up your database. And now go to developer tools and there you find something called uh, SQL developer. So here we are and click on SQL developer and it's going to show you what to download. So here we have three options. You also got option for Mac because Mac cannot have Oracle server running, but you can run this on Mac and connect to Oracle server running on some other system. So we are interested now in uh, uh, Windows 64 bit. You can either go with JDK included or without JDK. The choice is yours. In case you don't have a Java already installed in your system, I suggest you go with this. But if you already have Java installed, then you can go with this because it will use Java that is already installed in your system. But you need to have JDK 8 or above. So if you don't have that, just go with this. It's all in one. But if you have JDK installed, go with this. I'm going with this because in my system, JDK is already installed. And as usual, it's asking me to accept license and then download and it's going to start the download. Of course, after you log in and this is where you sign in and then the download will start. In case you don't have an account in Oracle, just register it's free well i don't need to download this because in my system i already downloaded this okay so i'm canceling it i'm going to the folder and here is the download a little while ago i already downloaded that and this is around uh, 400 mb that's what it is and i'm downloaded the one which is without jre so just double click on that and it will ask you to extract and you just need to extract that. So this is what it is going to create SQL developer. So I suggest you go to extract and say you want to extract this into some D drive or C drive anything. I prefer this to be in the root directory. In fact, I have already done it and here is my SQL developer in D drive. I already extracted that but in your case you have to proceed with this step and extract. So once you extracted that you get a folder like this in D drive because in my case I extracted that into D drive. So here we are um, having this extracted into D drive and SQL developer folder. Just go there and double click on the SQL developer. This is the application double click. It will start. And if you install the one without a JDK, it will ask you to provide a JDK. First time when he starts, it will ask you where is your JDK. You have to just select that. In my system, I just started that. So it's not asking me. But in your case, it will ask you where is your JDK just select your JDK folder. It will automatically pick up required Java code from that. I mean, it needs JRE to run this application because this is built with Java. So once you start SQL developer by simply double clicking on this, if JDK is not included with the software, it will ask you to provide the folder for JDK. And once you provide the folder, it is going to start. Well, it takes a little while to start. So let's wait until it starts. Well, this is how you get your SQL developer. 
actually you get welcome screen and I just closed it because it's not relevant for us. Now all that you need to do is go to Oracle connections and click on plus to create a new connection. So on the left you see the connections and you need to go to Oracle connections click on plus and it's going to open a window where you need to give the details. So I just give the name as HR and then I'm talking about the username HR password is also HR. I want the password to be saved so that I don't need to enter it again and again. And this is where you need to give the details and this is where you give 192.168.1.1 one dot 34 I guess that's what we have seen am I right yeah and then 1521 and this is going to be xcpdb1 and with those details you can test you can ask it to check whether it can connect this is the host name this is the port this is the SID and click on test it is going to check okay well, that is uh, actually this. So we are talking about service name, not SID. Please remember it is service name. OK, so XEPDB1, the port is same. The host name is the IP address, which we found out in the previous step. And this is the username password and please save password so that it won't bother you to enter it again and again. That's it. You got it. You save this. You can see a connection and you can just click on connect. OK, and then once you enter the connection details, you got a connection created. You can expand the connection. It's going to show you what the connection is having. And we are more interested in what are the tables that are present. So these are the tables. And you have a lot of stuff here, but the most important part of it is this right now we are working with the HR. This is the connection and here you can give commands. For example, I want to know what are the uh, rows we have in a table called jobs. No need to give semicolon here because it knows uh, the end of the command. Just click on this green button, which is to execute and it runs and displays the result just below that. This is an awesome tool and uh, we'll be using this a lot because this is easy to use and you can also type multiple commands. For example, select start from uh, departments. I can select this and then click on that. And it is going to execute only what is selected, not the other one. So you can have multiple commands and you can select whichever you want to execute. Click on that. You get the result. So this is the tool I strongly suggest to use. It's free. So download from Oracle.com extract it. And if you include JDK along with that, no need to do anything else. It will start automatically. But if you are downloading the one without JDK, then you need to select where JDK is present in your system. That's it. Then create a new connection. This is the way it is done. Just go to connections. Click on this and here you need to give some name for that. And then you are talking about the username and password. And then here you should select service name, not this SID and there you need to give our service name SCPDB1 and also this is where you should change to the port number 192.168.1.34 that's what we need to give and then username and password you can also connect it to system and then you can give the password of the system again say save password not a good idea to save system password because it's powerful account but if you are not sharing your system with anybody else that's fine okay so i say system password and i say the name of this account is system okay just test to be sure it is fine and look at this this is where you get the message success okay 
and once you are done you can save and uh, you can uh, close this or you can even connect and when you say connect it's asking you for password like this so you are now connecting to system so you have two tabs this is about system account this is about hr you can see them here also so whichever you want to use you can go with that let's close both and it's saying do you want to save changes no and then you can go back to this and you can open what is called as uh, the sheet the sql worksheet okay anytime if you want to create the worksheet just go and say open sql worksheet you get that and you can start giving commands that's it that's how you get started with sql developer and this is with the assumption you already have oracle 18 c express edition setup if not watch my previous video where i explain how you get started with that that's it